It's been a fabulous year for Elon Musk's private spaceflight company, SpaceX. What with the first all-civilian mission, Inspiration4, major contracts for the Falcon Heavy rocket, and of course the successful milestones that its Starship spaceship hit. After a lot of speculation, it looks like things are in full gear at the starbase in Boca Chica, and the Starship seems to be ready for its very first orbital flight. Welcome back to Futurism, and let's look into all the major Starship developments. The Glorious Starship NASA is revving up for its 2024 Artemis mission to put astronauts back on the moon, and SpaceX is designing the human landing system for this. The HLS, or the Starship, is the most powerful, fully reusable rocket ever made, and can carry a payload of around 100 to 150 metric tons. It is all set to launch into orbit for the very first time this year, if it obtains all the necessary clearances from the FAA. Along with the massive super-heavy rocket acting as its propeller, it aims to journey from the Earth to other interplanetary destinations and back. Musk has claimed this rocket is the latest technology designed to be reused for multiple trips. The Starship's Revolutionary Approach The Super Heavy Rocket, which is equipped with around 32 Raptor engines, is the main hero of the mission. Completely made of steel, 70 meters tall, the rocket is capable of launching over 100 metric tons, or 100 people beyond the Earth's orbit. The spacecraft, which is also called the Starship, is itself 50 meters tall and will be mounted over the Super Heavy. The entire combination will be able to attain a thrust of around 72 meganewtons while being fueled by 3,400 tons of methalox propellant. When stacked together, as we saw earlier this year in August, the Starship attains a height of nearly 400 feet, making it the tallest spaceship ever built. The upper stage of the Starship, where the payload will be located, has six Raptor engines, three sea level, and three vacuum engines. These six Raptor engines will help drive the vehicle in space. The body of the spacecraft is well guarded with hexagonal heat shields made of high quality steel and ceramic tiles. From images that were released from the Starbase, we can see that currently the tiles are being tested and arranged around the spacecraft while it is stacked on the launch pad. This is proving to be quite a labor-intensive job, as the team has to mark the tiles red to indicate defective tiles or green to indicate those that have not been fixed properly. As for the material of the Starship, Musk himself stated that steel is more useful as compared to the aluminum used in other spacecraft, especially when the ship is targeted for reusable purposes. The Super Heavy will launch the spacecraft into orbit and then retrace its way back to Earth. Both stages of the Starship are designed with retractable finned legs to allow them to be completely reusable. Because of its enormous size and payload, the Starship will undoubtedly have to be refueled with methalox several times on its way to Mars. For starters, the Starship will be packed with enough of the subcooled liquid methane and liquid oxygen to make the Raptor engines work. Once the Super Heavy returns to Earth, the Starship spacecraft will park and be refueled by a subsidiary Starship in space. Once the traveling Starship has been refueled, it will carry on, whereas the subsidiary ship will either remain in orbit or return back to Earth. The locally occurring CO2 and H2O resources on Mars would be used to produce the fuel to launch using the saboteur process, and the Starship would return to Earth. Starship Landing Process The Starship focuses on the concept of using the Mechazilla or a robot tower with arms. The returning space vehicles will maneuver back to where they were launched from, but instead of crashing, they will be caught with Mechazilla's arms to stop them a few meters above the ground. SpaceX has officially launched many renders and simulations showcasing how the ship's trajectory has been planned, and the landing is designed to be smooth. About 99% of the energy is removed aerodynamically, which saves the ship from being burnt hot and reduces the velocity effectively. With this advanced technology, SpaceX is really aiming for the launch's success to further test it for human transportation. Latest updates from the Starbase 
Earlier this year, NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to develop the Starship for its Artemis mission. The Starship was slated to complete its first orbital test in July, but approval delays and some snags postponed the launch. SpaceX already performed a testing launch for the main Starship prototype without the Super Heavy in May 2021. The prototype was termed Starship SN15, which took the test flight from the Starbase in Texas. With its success and skyrocketing hopes on the optimistic theory, SpaceX and the world are eagerly awaiting the spaceship's launch. The current updates direct towards the completion of the project, with all the umbilical actuators for the Raptor engines of the Super Heavy Booster 4 already being connected to the launch pad. The first orbital-class Starship prototype, the SN20, was spotted stretching its wings on October 3rd, after it successfully completed its cryogenic proof test in the last week of September. The Starship's four large flaps, or wings, are only capable of flapping. These have been specifically designed to not produce lift, but instead will support Starship's unusual descent profile. This means that they act as the arms and legs of a skydiver, and will allow the spaceship to control its pitch, roll, and altitude as it free falls belly down towards the Earth. The flaps will help control the vehicle's orientation and heading during re-entry. After this, SpaceX will probably be reinstalling three to six Raptor engines on the SN20 for the third time this year. This will be followed by a very important static fire test, which could begin around the 7th of October. The test will likely begin with one to three Raptors, and after a certain number of static fire tests, it will probably culminate in the first ignition of the three Raptors, like it was done for the other Starship prototypes. The test will also mark the first time the Raptor vacuum would be ignited on a prototype and the first time that SpaceX has fired up multiple Raptor variants on the same vehicle. This might seem like a minor step as compared to other testing milestones, but it serves as a reminder that SpaceX's goal to launch the Starship for its orbital flight test is still in progress. Also, the Super Heavy B4 has not yet been extensively tested. To be able to fully proof and static fire test the Super Heavy, SpaceX has to wire, outfit, and plumb the orbital launch mount, and complete a major portion of the orbital pad's tank farm. The good news is that the tank farm took its first few breaths in late September, and the launch mount also seems almost complete from the images released online. To test the Starship, SpaceX will have to clear the pad of personnel completely for 6 to 12 hours, including the several hundred people that are in the midst of construction. In light of the testing and additions to the launch mount like Mechazilla, SpaceX scheduled nearly 30 hours of road and beach closures. It also scheduled five six-hour testing windows in that week, possibly to run the pending tests. Furthermore, the Starship also needs to clear the environmental tests to gain approval from the Environmental Protection Agency and the FAA, which is still ongoing. While a draft has been prepared, with most of the clearances being granted, the FAA has kept its findings open for public opinion till mid-October. The Starship can only complete its orbital test once the FAA approvals have been granted. What do you think of the Starship? Will it complete its orbital tests by the end of this year? Let us know in the comments below what you think about the space race and the spectacular wait for Starship's first orbital launch. Smash the like and subscribe buttons to make sure the upcoming updates are instantly in your notifications. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.